So High Energy Heroes keeps releasing more and more gameplay and the more I see of it, the more I get excited. Some are saying that this game looks bad and some are saying that this game looks even better than Apex Legends Mobile. So let's just get straight into it and check out some more gameplay. So, so far we know of three different characters in the game that they've showed us. We've got Jin, Chanzi, we've got Ryung and we've got Angela. I've showed you Jin already. So let's check out Ryung, which is uh, one of the uh, sort of Wraith looking characters. So let's check it out boys. Okay, so she looks pretty much exactly like Rafe, but not really like Rafe, so she's got like white hair. Let's check out her uh, her tactical ability first. So the running animation looks insane. Again, the map in the background, just look at the map. It looks incredible. Um, so here's her tactical, which is the portal. So yeah, she can pretty much phase in and out. So she's got the phase exactly the same as Rafe, so they've kept that ability for this character. And now we've got her ultimate ability, which is the portal as well. So she's got the exact same abilities as Wraith. You can go in and out the portal. The portal looks sick as well. Look, it looks like it's going into some sort of galaxy as well, which looks insane. Um, doesn't look like it goes that far. The range on it doesn't look, look like it goes that far. Um, so here's her tactical right now. She's using the R301. Uh, and then she's got the wingman and the flatline just there. Hit fire, which looks insane. This game is going to have first person as well. A lot of this gameplay is just showing off third person to see what the characters and stuff look like. But first person mode is confirmed, guys. So we're going to be able to play it in first person mode. And oh my god, just look. All the vault in, everything. I mean, the FOV looks quite up close, but I'm sure you can... Uh, I'm sure it'll have an FOV slider. But yeah, this is basically brief. There's, there's not really anything different um, that they've made. Because in, in this high energy heroes game, they've mixed and matched abilities on different legends so that's quite interesting that they've just kept Wraith the same okay next up we've got Angela um not really sure what character she's gonna be um let's just check her out and see exactly what ability she has okay so again yeah there's 10 different legends she kind of looks like ah okay definitely the lifeline she's got a little drone I wonder if she's got the same healing abilities and the uh, the shield as well that um that lifeline used to have on one of the early seasons of Apex so so yeah she can Wow, her drones can heal all three at once. No way. Okay, so it's kind of like Farlight. So you can, you can, and she's got the drone as well. Wow, she's got the shield drone and she can heal them all at once. And that heals them. Whoa, what? Okay, and her ultimate is the supply dropship as well. So she can get supplies as well. Blue shields, helmets, anything you guys need. You got batteries right there as well. She's got the RE45 and the uh, Alstar right there. That's incredible. So she can put her drone out. That automatically reses them and it heals them as well. Look at the top left. It heals them while she's still able to fight. There's no way. That's like a triple buffed lifeline. Oh my god, I mean the game just looks so good. Uh, again, a lot of people are saying that this game doesn't look as good as Apex Legends Mobile. It doesn't look as smooth. I disagree. I think it looks even smoother. I think it looks super smooth. The textures and graphics and everything look incredible in the game as well. Even just the, the hit downs and the, the killing enemies as well. All looks exactly the same as Apex Legends Mobile. And oh my god, I'm, I'm super excited for this. Okay, so the beta actually drops on July 14th. Let me stop you there. Hit a like and drop a comment down below if you guys want me to make a video on how to access this beta. It's going to be quite confusing because you need a WeChat. Um, the last video that they've uploaded recently, which was yesterday, is I think it's just some gameplay. Um, so let's just run that in the background just to check this gameplay out. But basically, yeah, the beta is going to be coming on July 14th. It is China only. So you're only going to be able to play it in China, probably using a VPN. Um, it is available on the Google Play Store, but again, you will need a uh, VPN to access it. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to give you a tutorial again on how to get this. Um, it's not going to be quite uh, super hard to get. The only hard thing, I guess, is getting a WeChat account, but I can help you guys out with that. Um, so make sure you hit a like on this video and I'll sort you boys out. But let's just carry on checking out the gameplay. So that's Pathfinder right there. It's already showing like top gameplay. And I've already mentioned before in the previous video, they've added tournaments into the game. There's already like a big tournament coming to the game. Um, still don't know the answer whether it's going to come global. I don't think it is because there's too many assets that... Um, well, I don't, I don't know, actually. We I'm going to leave that um, that question unknown because we don't know whether this game is going to come global. If it does, then yeah. 
brilliant because this game's going to be absolutely incredible global but everything there you know subtitles everything they're doing right now is in chi chinese and is uh sorry japanese so it's only gonna be released in um japan um sorry china sorry it's gonna be released in china um and that's pretty much it for that gameplay and then i guess we got a little extra clip wait what gun's that oh the charge rifle okay I thought they were showing off some sort of new unique gun they made in the game as well then. So, wow. I mean, again, guys, hit a like, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm going to keep updating you on this game because it looks incredible. Um, it looks a lot better than what it did with Apex Legends Mobile in the previous betas. And this is only going into beta on July 14th. The official global launch date is at the end of October. So we haven't even got that long to wait. But I'm going to be able to show you some gameplay and live streaming next week for you. So if you want access as well, make sure you hit a like, make sure you subscribe. I'll catch you boys in the next video. Peace.